training piano lesson. Wow! Gradually, gradually, we are making progress. And I've heard a lot of comments. People are doing well, appreciating. I appreciate you too. You guys are great. Without you guys, nobody. And today, as I promised, I'm going to teach you another song. By this time, you're going to read from the staff and play it on the keyboard. Right? Now, remember the staff? We did it in week two, I think, yes. With two of the theory parts, every good boy deserves favor, lines and spaces, and so on and so forth. We've done the various key signatures. So I don't know whether I can come close so that I will see. Now I want them to see something. I want you to focus on this so that they will see actually the various notes and symbols. I told you earlier on that in music they communicate to us through signs and symbols, and the words are for the choir or the congregation. Now, just after the clef, you see one, two, three, flat there. So which key is it in? E flat, yes, that is it, you are correct. It's in E flat. And in key E flat, you know, we flatten the B, we flatten the E, and we flatten the A. And you see the time signature there, 3, 2. Yeah, that is it. Amazing. Now we move to the first note. Focusing on it, you see that this is part of the invisible note. Remember? Yes, we did it in week 2, week 3, yeah, and part of the invisible note. Now the first line is line E. Right? Every good boy deserves favor. You know, the five lines. But you see, these are invisible notes. And these are how we are going to derive from the invisible notes. The first line is E. So write E there. Now, our problem is the next note. Right? Now, you see that the first line, there is a space, there is a line, and there is a space. Now, alphabetical order, we are descending. So if this is E, automatically the space here will be D. Because D, you go to E. Then the line under it, this line is un the line under the space. So this one will be what? C. Yes. And just under the C, there is a space. So what will be this? It will be B. So it is E and B. Right? In a minimum. Two bits. Right? In a minimum, which is two bits. Right? So E and B in a minimum, which is two bits. And you see that it is repeating. So this E and B here. E and B here. E and B here. E and B here. Right, you see how simple it is. So we found one and we found the rest. But this is two beats and this is one beat, one beat, one beat, one beat. Because this is crotchet and crotchet is one beat. We did it ta a ta. And this is minimum, two beats. So all you need to do is find E and B. And it is in which key? Key E flat. So E flat E automatically is a flat. B is automatically flat. So we go to E flat, this E flat and B flat. And look at something here. You see that when reading, the B is under the E, not on top. So this is the E, and the B is under it. So if you are able to locate E here, then you are going to find B, which is under it, which is this. The moment you come and play this, it is wrong. Although it's the same E and B, but you see that this B is on top of the E. But I rather want to focus on the B under the E. So B flat, E flat, under it. Right? So that's how you're going to play it. Two beats. So, one, two, one, 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 one. Right? One, two, one, 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 one. We've played up to this side. Right? We've played up to this side from E flat. So, E flat here, B flat here. One, two, one, 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 one. Now, let's go to the mysterious. I want you to take a very closer look at this. Mysterious. You see that we will maintain our B, which is the B, B, B. You see it's down here. So we maintain our B, and the top one has shifted. So on top of it is if on top of it is E, the first line is E, this note is just under the first line. Right. And if it is under the first line, um, if you can come closer, more closer for them to see, for it to focus. Yes. It's just under the first line, right? Yes, so if it's under the first line and this is E, this one becomes what? D. Because from D you go to E. So under the first line is D. So D and B. Then you come back to your E and B. Then you go here, which is under the first line. First one is D. And this one is on the first space, which is F, A, C, E, F. So it's F. So this one, D, F, D, F. I don't want to write it so that it becomes lazy, but I want you to know that these are the notes, right? So... You play your E and B, 
chorus one lead, two beats, then the next one here lead, one beat, one beat, one beat, one beat. Okay, so I'll send you a copy, okay, the soft copy of the 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 the, the sheet music. But this is how the pattern goes, and this is how you're gonna play. It's as simple as that. You read and you play, right? Now let's go to the bass. The bass is the same. Um, I don't know whether you can see from this angle. Now the bass, you see that is the all cow eat grass. The bass, there are two notes on the same on two space, right? And the third space of the bass clef is what. A C E E, right? So the bass is E and what G, and it's E and G repeating itself, repeating itself, repeating itself, repeating itself. When you come here, there is a change. You see that it has shifted to two lines, and it's on the fourth line and the fifth line. And the fourth line is what F, the fifth line is what A. Then it come back to which one? E and G, and then B flat octave. B flat, B flat. So the key is very very important because it is in key E flat. You know that if it is on E, automatically you flatten it. You know that if it is on A, automatically you flatten it. You know that if it is on B, automatically you flatten it. So the B B I'm writing there, you should know that you should be there to flatten it. So that is how you read. That's how you read. So you play your E and G. Now you see that the G is on top from the look of the, from the position of the, can you come closer? You see that the G is on top. You see the G is on top. Then you come the E. So you play the G first, come my hand. You play the G first, this is G, before you come to E. This is making sense. Then on top one, the B is down and the E is up. It's a chord. So you keep on following. Now, I want you to focus on my fingers so that they will see. Yes. Even from that angle downwards, so that you see. The children's version, the children's version is also simple. They read and they play. That is how it is. So you're reading, you go back to week one, week two, the staff, you get your staff and the lines and the spaces. And you come back to the key signatures. This is in key E flat. And this is our first song that we are going to learn for Mr. Jenny Piano lesson. I'm playing it once more so that you get it. I want you to focus on my hands. So that they will know the fingering. I told you the fingering varies from time to time. So.
should be. Now when you proceed, you see that D and F, D and F, D and F, D and F, then you move to E and J. Then the base becomes B flat and E. I mean, it's so simple. You look at the pattern of it, the arrangement, and you press and play. That's how it is. I've taught you everything. This is him 285. God moves in a mysterious way. Indeed, God moves in a mysterious way. I believe in God. In God, I trust. I love you all. You are the best. In fact, without you, I'm nothing. So I continue to give the knowledge I have, pour it. But remember, just like the school, I'll do my part by the commitment, the effort, and the practice. The practice is all in your hands. Practice, 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 and practice. Salut.